if you're African American, you like the fact that she's talking about issues that affect you. However, if you are a union member, this is a much more difficult sale because union members who have been supporting Trump to a degree that Republicans never get, that those numbers may even have gone up since the selection, since Harris has emerged as the Democratic nominee. But make no mistake, Trump's advantage with the Republican convention after that ended is gone. It is wiped away. And if the election were held today, I actually believe that Harris would, would be Trump. Michigan has the most uh, Muslim Americans in the country. Well, Pennsylvania has the fifth most. She could have taken Pennsylvania off the table by choosing Shapiro. She could have taken Michigan off the table by choosing Whitmer. She could have taken North Carolina off the table by choosing Cooper. She had a number of different choices of specific states that would have changed the outcome in those states and chose not to do it, which is fine. Al Gore added to the Clinton ticket back. Uh, Frank Lunds is a very effective communicator, but it's absurd that he wants to be known as Dr. Frank Lunds, right? He's not. He's not a medical doctor. If you're not a medical doctor, wanting to be known as doctor is uh, is weird. But he is he's very compelling when he speaks. Back in 1992, by giving Americans uh, the first uh, baby boom ticket ever. Uh, and you've had presidents that have chosen vice presidents because of the theme, what they want to communicate. If this campaign is about inflation and immigration, Donald Trump wins. If it's about the attributes of the candidates, Kamala Harris wins. Right. That's a great point. If this campaign is fought on foreign policy, the threats from abroad, immigration, crime and inflation, right, the Republicans will win. If it's fought over vibes and personality, then Kamala Harris will win. Trump is disliked as a person, but his administration has favorable as a favorable evaluation.